For a long time, I've wanted to have an electrical pass-through so that I could get power to the inside of my pressure tank. To do that, we need to create a hermetically sealed connection between the inside and the outside of this tank. And we're gonna do that through this nut right here. My name is Eric Strebel. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. Did you know that my sponsor, PCB Way, offers you the option to get design assistance for designing your printed circuit boards? They have several partners that they can pair you with to help you with your next circuit board project. Big or small, PCB Way can help. Click the link in the description to learn more about their design service. We're going to use this nut as our pass through point as it's removable so that we can machine it. I already have something like this on my smaller tank and it works great, although it's only two leads. Thus, we're going for something a little bit more here. I'm also going to use it with a heavy duty wire so that I could pass 110 volts inside the tank. Should I ever need to do that? I don't really anticipate it. So on this nut, I need to machine out some squares, two squares in the back, and you'll see there's a little hat section here, and this is to prevent the final resin from coming through the part somehow accidentally, and that's gonna trap it in. The part is pretty dirty, and it needs some good cleaning. I use some dental tools here to remove some of the 30 or 40 years of buildup of material so I can get good adhesion between the resin and the galvanized finish. I'm going to give it a little final clean with some acetone and hopefully that's going to give us good results with our resin. On the electrical business end of this hermetically sealed connection, we're going to use some GX16 aviation connectors. I'll leave an Amazon link in the description below if you want to get some for your projects. On the male end, I'm going to cut down this metal cover as we don't need all of it for this application. I'll use a file just to knock off the sharp edges on the inside and the outside of the metal part. All right, I've got this piece of millimeter and a half copper solid copper wire and that's what we're going to use to wire up these two connectors now we're going to cut the solid copper wire into about four centimeter strips and i make an extra one just to be safe i'm going to sand them to remove any oxidation to get a better bond to the resin i pre-tin them oh it's so nice to have a nice soldering iron i'm running a heiko soldering iron and thanks again so much to Kodo for the fume extractor and the little magic hands link in the description to these fantastic tools to keep you safe and be productive here's one end of the connector that's the other end but first we need to make the seal that's going to prevent the resin from going everywhere I'm going to cut out this acrylic part on the laser. It's basically a circle with five holes in the middle, and that's where those copper wires are going to go through, and this is going to be what seals the nut to keep the resin from flowing out. First, we got to remove the old paper. I'll put down a little alcohol, and yes, I know it causes crazing on the edges. Totally aware of that. All right, that's where ultimately the wires are going to pass through. Let's cut them all to the same length and pre-tin them so we can get them ready for the next step. We got our one connector here, the main connector, and then that's gonna go through here, okay? Then we're gonna add our seal onto that. Then we're gonna drop our connectors, our locking threading connectors on top of that. And then we're gonna solder this other end of the connector in place. Then we'll be able to glue down this seal onto the metal here, flip the whole thing over, and pour our resin inside of it so that we can hermetically seal this connector inside of here.
Now I've gone ahead and made marks so I can line all the pins up. You'll see here there's a five with a silver dot and then here on this connector of course is a silver mark as well. So I just need to make sure that I line up my pins. This one down here, I don't know if you can see, also has the silver dot on it right here. So that way I'm putting the, kin the pins correctly in the right spot and the correct electrical connection can be made. All right, it's time to solder on the male connector and this has to be done quickly and efficiently so that I do not melt my acrylic seal. I get Chris to hold with the pliers the copper wire so that I can keep the whole thing nice and stable and that works out really, really well. So it's all soldered together. This is our seal. This is our threaded lock piece. This goes like this. And we just gotta slide this down, something like that. And we're gonna glue this clear onto this nut with a little bit of Elmer's. And we're gonna fill the thing with resin, pressure cast it, and we should have a good hermetically sealed connector that we can pass six leads of power through. I'm going to use some standard white glue to adhere the acrylic disc to the metal nut. Just enough to lock down the clear acrylic in place so that we can pour resin behind it. It doesn't need to be anything amazing. Let's do this resin encapsulation in clear to make our hermetic seal. It doesn't need to be clear, but you do want to use a good quality resin and a resin that can withstand some heat as well. Into the vacuum tank, my resin goes. We'll degas it so that we can pour it into the void in the nut. Fills it up. Looking really good. Let's put it in the pressure tank and cure it overnight at 60 PSI with some heat on it. Let's take it out of the tank and see what we got. Oh, that looks nice. Nice and clear. Beautiful. I'm very happy with that result. I think I'm gonna leave the clear acrylic disc on in the back. Yeah, you can see right through that sucker. Pretty sweet. And so this is how this system would work, right? This is a, another one of these connectors that would go onto here. It can easily be attached and you can thread it or lock it on if you need to. And then the mating one on this side Oh, yeah, I probably should electrically test this thing. Shit, I should have done that earlier. Good thing it works. All right, I'll put a little Teflon tape on the threads in addition to the gasket that's on there already and get that back onto the tank. All right, let's test this puppy out. Put some pressure on it, see what happens. Mm, looking good. So that's holding there at somewhere between 50 and 60 PSI. I don't know how accurate the gauge is, but it's holding pressure. It's working. This pressure tank has the ability to be heated and we're testing it under pressure with heat and it holds air, no problem. Little soapy dishwater, no bubbles, hermetically sealed. Mission accomplished. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Rock on. Click here to check out some of the other design and making videos that I have that you might enjoy.